hello guys once again i'm back with another video actually the second part of superior os rom for micromax in ip so i am using this rom for the last two three months and i'm very satisfied with this one so here's the full review of the second part so i'm opening the menu and see all the icons are rethemed again as lollipop so basically this rom is designed like lollipop Though it's a KitKat with ROM, but uh, its theme is quite like uh, actually Marshmallow. Sorry, actually Marshmallow. So let me open the settings and now about phone. See, there's a uh, ROM name Superior OS, and that a developer is Sikoon. See, it uh, Android version is uh, 6.0. And here's the famous marshmallow game. Tap here and enjoy this game. It's a very really fun game. Wow, I am going very well. Oops. So, okay, I'm going back to the game menu. So in the first Wi-Fi, so basically this whole ROM is in very good way. I didn't find any bug at all, and I am using this ROM in the last two three months. Yeah, actually last two three months. So there is no bug at all. Now, see all the options are there as stock run. Gathering portal hotspot, just Bluetooth gathering, USB gathering, everything up there. And now we go to home. See, it's a Nova launcher is being installed, and that is the stock launcher for this ROM. So one thing in addition is uh, this ROM has built-in Dolby surround sound. So. In terms of sound, there is no problem at all. You will get a very good sound uh, in headphone or without headphone. Here was a stock gallery, so you can choose photos as a wallpaper from stock gallery. Now in the brightness section, see the automatic and uh, the manual brightness is there. All the options are pretty much same as the stock ROM. And now there's a storage option. See the storage option. Everything is pretty well designed. Now in the battery section. It has a good battery backup though my battery actually is not good at all so don't even think about that this ROM has a bad battery backup it has a pretty good battery backup and see here's the app storage and the running app section it also designed well here the all apps are there in this section you go to user there's a user you can add user here and now go to superior interface option so this part is basically for the personalization and all the extra features in this ROM are basically in this section if you want to contact with this developer then here are the developer details and here are the superior voice change logs so all the version i am currently using the version 3 so version 4 is already there now in the framework section it has a lots of options like list view animation so you can change the way the list are scrolling your phone see here's the transition and change see the difference in the transition 
so it has lots of option are there you have to choose it as you wish now it has a smart gesture option i didn't like this smart gesture option but if you like it you can go for it and in this rom it has a option called cpu setting so you can change the cpu speed in the section so uh, basically for any phone hot plug is the ultimate option but if you want to choose any other option then you can change here so there is four option available hot plug is the best thing for your phone see the changes in progress bar you can change the speed you can change the transition you can change the color too so you can change everything in this rom now in the status bar section it has lots of option like battery icon clock settings dynamic status bar etc now in the sound section it has dolby pre installed so you have to choose your settings also it has presets like movies music choose as much as possible now in the system section so it has extra features so go to auto start section and you can choose the apps if you uh, unmark apps from here it will automatically goes to the another section and it won't start again at the time of booting so you will be, your phone will be getting faster at the time of booting so it's a good thing auto starts So try this once. It will be good for your phone. And in this section, in your mode, it has plenty of features are there. If you want to check your touch screen, your sensor, so you can check here. Now in the tool section, you can choose your font. it has a plenty of font pre installed so choose what you like and just set and reboot so you have to reboot before using this font so after rebooting you will be able to change the system font and now it has a schedule bar option schedule bar on off option so that uh, in schedule your phone will get on is restart and off Now it has exposed pre-installed, so that's the ultimate beauty of this ROM. Change the way you look and the way you work with your phone completely on this exposed app. You can choose modules from the exposed market. I can say it has lots of uh, exposed module there, and just choose your preferred module and use this module. you gonna love this modules now in the section it's actually uh, in the stock room it's known as developer section and here's a lots of experimental options there now we are done with settings so nova launcher works well in this rom and if we go to notification panel see it's quite like lollipop and it works well in this rom so all these options are working 
absolutely perfectly there is no lag at all in this rom i am very much satisfied with this rom so just go for it and install it in your phone you can check my part 1 video uh, how to install this rom in your phone so do check out my video and subscribe to my channel you will get more videos every week